Video games again, Philmon? When are you gonna grow up? It's just for a little bit. Where are you going? Um, with Marcus. Remember I told you that yesterday. Is that today? Yeah, at 5 o'clock. Is he coming to pick you up or what? No, I have a car outside. Why would he come no, to pick me up? No, no, what do you mean you have a car outside? I, I gotta go somewhere after this. He always comes and picks me up. It's my yeah, turn to drive myself you, over to him. You always take the car. It's my turn to take the car today. Yesterday I took an Uber. You made me late to work yesterday. Did you forget that? How did I make you late when I was the one taking Uber? You had the car yesterday. Okay, now your memory is gone. Like, I don't even know what to tell you. I have an appointment you're with Marcus. You're gonna make me lose the game. I will and be you're back. Talking about Marcus. And I will give you the car after. No, I you my always say you're gonna be back, and then I'm always late for my stuff. And now where you, do you have to go? You think you're taking you the car? You didn't tell me about your appointment. You're not taking the car. It's none of your business where I have to go. I have an appointment today. Tell me who you're meeting. Where are you it's going? It's none of your business. I'm taking the car. Look, it looks like you're busy playing video games. You yeah, don't have this time until my to go appointment. anywhere. You're making... I will be back in time. You made, you made me lose. Look, you're not taking the car. I'm sorry. You can't take it today. I need it. For what? I paid half. Don't worry about for what. I paid half too. My money's as good as yours. I put yours. gas in there yesterday. I, I did the oil change. Okay, I changed the battery. And I washed the car. It doesn't matter. I'm older. Mama, you need to respect me, okay? If you're older, why don't you pay more? I don't understand. I paid half. Why are you not letting me live my life? Your life? What about my life? I'm not going to argue with you. I'm leaving no, and I'll you're be not, back. That's, okay? No. Don't worry about it. What do you mean? I told you. I have an appointment. I got to go. I'm late. Gloria, I already told you. I don't have time to worry about you and Marcus going on dates. I need the car. Look, it's my turn. Okay, it was, it was your turn yesterday. So what? What is your issue? I need the car today. That's my issue. Where are you going? Why do I keep, why do you keep asking me that? Because I don't believe it. Don't believe it. I need the car. I have to go now. No, okay? you don't. I'm I need like, the car. I will bring it back. I don't back. have time for you and your boyfriend. Ooh. He can come pick you up. I don't have time you, for you. Give me the keys. No. You're not going. Back up. Stop. No. We're, I'm not playing with I'm you. I'm leaving. I got you some chicken. I'm gonna have some beef. You said Phil was fighting you for the car again? He had nowhere to go. He claims he had a magical seven o'clock appointment. Hey, do you want this white sauce or what do you want? No, I'm fine with this. Right. Okay, I'll use it. He um, had a seven o'clock appointment? But we don't even know where he was going and he refused to answer that. I asked him several times, where are you going? And he just couldn't tell me that. I don't believe it's a real appointment or it could be going to the store to get some chips for all I know. The only thing that I do know is he wants whatever I have. Whenever I touch those keys, he wants it, even when he's not using it. Younger siblings are annoying. You should be so grateful you are an only child. That is the life. That's what I wish I had because he is just driving me up the wall. Every day, we fight nonstop, constantly. If it's not about the car, it's about um, the electricity. If it's him behind on his bills, there's always something that we're fighting and arguing about. He decided to live with me and Tom, but he cannot hold up his end of the bargain. I, honestly, I wish I had a sibling. No, like, you don't. Yeah, I do. I, that, that would be nice. I think you got, what you guys need to do is find a way to just get a solution. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a good thing have to have a sibling. Have you met Phil? No, I haven't. But the thing is, he's your sibling. That's not going to change. You guys need to find a solution to where you can discuss your disagreements amicably and just find a solution. You're the older sister, right? You need to show exactly. him an example of how to properly do these things. Like you He's need to supposed show, to respect me. I know, but he needs coaching and encouraging for these types of things. And like you're in a perfect position to kind of show him like how you know, this can be done without always being at each other's throats. I mean, he's not a child anymore. I know, but it's still, he needs your help. You know what I mean? 
Like you're the one who has to reach out to him and show him how you can find solutions and have a good relationship. It's great to have a sibling. I'm telling you, a lot of people wish they could. Don't lose the opportunity and just have this constant back and forth. I think you should just really think about it, start fresh, and just find a way to get on the same page and have a, have a good relationship. If this was any other sibling, that would be okay. But this is not. This is Phil. He is the most annoying brother out there. He is not your typical sibling. He is a rare case, believe me. I know, but so many people probably have that same opinion. But at the end of the day, it doesn't change the fact that you need to find a way to find solutions. Like you, I mean, you have to be committed to just starting fresh, start over, just kind of step back from everything that's been happening and just commit that you're going to look at this in a new way and just try to find a solution with him. Because at the end of the day, he's going to be your sibling, no matter what. I appreciate okay. that advice. Good. What about you? What's going on at work today? Oh my God, let me tell you about work. I am, I am so stressed out and tired of her, Adriana. Remember the, when we were in there the other day and she was the one thinking we were talking about her? She seemed a little jealous. Yeah. I am so fed up with her. She's always late. She's lazy when she's there. She's hiding in the back, doesn't want to answer the phone, doesn't want to talk to any customers. You know, she brings in her friends and family and gives them like 80% discounts. 80% off? They, they come in groups of like five. That's basically, she doesn't care. She's basically giving it away for free, yeah, might as well. Free, all the time. It's, it's like stealing. Wow. Like, I am so sick and tired of working with her. And she has so much attitude all the time. Like, it's just, you can never be on her good side. You've been here working at this job for the over five years now and who knows how much longer you're gonna stay and Adriana has been there for at least half that time you guys see each other every single day you complain about her often I've heard her complain about you I don't know I mean is this really how you want to continue your work relationship at some point you got to figure out what is the issue why is she always getting so upset why are you so annoyed with her? There has to be something. You know, maybe did your manager give you a, a higher raise than her? Or did he give her a higher raise than you? Like, there's something going on. I don't think it's typical because I have never seen coworkers fight like the way you guys do. You know, basically fight as if you're siblings. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think it is hypocritical that I tell you to find a solution with Phil, but... I'm ready to, to quit because of Adriana. Mm -hmm. You're right. I think I, I need to step back and try to find a way to to get on the same page and just start over. And you know, just I need to find my own solutions yes. with her at work. I agree. Peace right. does everyone good. You're right. You're right. I should have realized this sooner. Okay. I'm I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to find a way to start over yes. and just have a a mature friendly relationship absolutely when's when's that work meeting coming up again oh that meeting have i told you how stressed i am about that meeting i'm so worried i, I really don't know what they're gonna say what they want to change all i know is everything is changing i have no idea what to expect i, I just I, i'm very stressed about it like it's not i'll definitely be wishing you the best on that meeting yeah thank you Want to head out and go get, um, maybe go head to a movie after dinner? Yeah, let's do that.